Hi, Georgia Burns here. Well, we are continuing with our um, female family cards series I'm doing. And today we're going to be making a grandmother card. This is quite a quick, easy card to make. Um, all you need is a card base of... I'm using Barmy Blue. And it is a full sheet cut in half and a cut at four and one eighth and folded in half. I've got a piece of white cardstock. This is four and one eighth and four and one eighth. And I have just done a little tiny border with the die I've got across the bottom. Then you need a piece of white cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths to go inside and a scrap for the bow. I'm using the stamp set Wishing You Well just so I can make like a bouquet of flowers. I'm not using them flowers, I'm using the bow and I've got none of these out. So let's get them out. There's the flowers and There's the bow. Uh, um, for the flowers, I've used Bloom by Bloom, and I'm just using this little tiny flower here, just so I can do them in different colours or two colours. To a wonderful grandmother, I'm using Family Party. I've got Grand and Mother together, mounted on a block. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. And what I did, I cut the excess silicone from the D and the M so I could join them closer together. And inside, wishing you the most wonderful day is a stamp of my own. Oh, and I've got it mounted. It was actually a free stamp and I do like it, so that's what I'm going to be using. Was out of a magazine. So, get started. We need to stamp our bouquet and our ribbon. Right, the leaves and the main part of the bouquet I'm doing in soft suede. Now, I can't remember, because I made this card a little while ago, whether I stamped off or not. Let's see. No, I didn't. I think my soft suede might need re-inking. So, I'm going to place that right in the middle. Like that. Clean the stamp. That's all I use soft suede for. Night and Navy. Keep going to open these as if they're the new ones. And with the bow, I did a bow underneath. Just place that down like that. And then I did a bow on a scrap piece of paper like that. And I'll cut that out in a minute. that clean and then the little tiny flower I did just stamped some little flowers like that in light and navy and then with some Barmy blue or blarmy blue. Let's clean that off. I stamped 
I think I did about five of these. I did a few. That'll do nicely. Yeah, we will finish with that. And we need our card base. I'm not going to stick it down yet, but if we place that where it's supposed to go, we can stamp our sentiment on the card itself. All right, our first one is to a wonderful. wonderful and now we need the word grandmother I hope you can see me doing this and then we need the word happy birthday which has come from the stamp set Big On Birthdays. Yes. Right. Um, and we need to do the piece inside. Which is... Let's take them off for now and put that on there. I've run out of long blocks. Wishing you the most beautiful day. And that is it. So all we've got to do, while that all dries, is cut out this bow. Now I cut it on the line. Didn't leave any white borders. Obviously, it's taking my time, so I get it done neatly. And that will sit on dimensionals on there. Get rid of that. Get our dimensionals out. There we go. Put 
big dimensional on each end of the bow. So, what we need to do is glue this down. You could actually, if you wanted to, put dimensionals on this and raise it up. But I won't do that. Good idea. Now, the way I put this on, because it's the same size as the card, and we want it right to the top. That's no overhang, nothing. So it's gone on quite easy. Right. Put the inside in. And then pop the bow on. What I've got to do is add some gems. Now I've got these little heart ones, which I'm going to pop. In the middle of the bow. And then with my glass gems I'm going to pop two there. Two there. One there. And one there. So it's two, four, six, and that one's seven. So they're odd. Odd numbers. And there we have it. <clears throat> Hope you like it. Hello again. Sorry about the abrupt end with the card making of the grandmother card, I think it was. The last card I made in the series. And I didn't show you the female boxes. So this is a little add-on I'm doing to the video. And these are the female boxes. I did them in Melon Mambo and I taped all the stamped all the female names around the boxes. And all the cards, each card, each box, I've got two of each boxes, have the full six cards. In them. So they're from the female boxes and I have got myself a gem here. Must have come off this card. And these are the male ones which we did. And I think you saw when I made the boxes, I had the cards in there. So, just so you can see that I did make a female box. And that the cards, female boxes, as I did make two. As the, um, and that the cards are in the boxes. Along with six envelopes. So we have... Two of each boxes, which will be sent to Gainer for the um, card, ch card challenge. I hope you enjoyed that series. Um, if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. If you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. We will be going back to Monday, Wednesday and Friday. From now on, till I think of something else.
Bye.